which I have and it needs to be checked out there's something wrong with the engine but they refuse Sorry, Sarah, you can call me. What you got a mask on for? Because I'm sick, Chris. Okay, well, I didn't know you were sick. I've been sick for weeks. I didn't know you were sick. I went to a doctor. Okay, I didn't know why you were going to the doctor, Sarah. I'm sorry, I was just asking. You hadn't been wearing a mask? Yeah, well, the other day, <laughs> blood vessel blowed in my eye. Cole knows this. Okay. So, yeah. Well, are you all right? Are you able no, to I'm not all right. I don't feel well. No. Okay. If you're not able to work today, we, we hadn't put anything on you yet. If you need another day. Do you need another day to rest? Well, based on yesterday, you had planned on getting rid of me because you had like me going to the doctor and he cleared my schedule. I did not ask for all day. He did. Nobody said anything about getting rid of you, Sarah. Well, you and, said, oh, you're not coming and, back. And, and I told why him would you think your that? Schedule. Well, whoever. Okay, then why did you say, well, what, why would I come up here and do nothing? Then? Sarah, you, the way everything went down on Friday, you threw a fit about the fleas. I get it. I understand. It was bad. I did not throw a fit. I didn't know how to take care of them. Okay. And I asked understand. you, what did I not? Before I left, what do I need to do for the outside? We had no idea it was that bad, Sarah. We had no way of knowing how bad it was. That is a very rare occurrence for you to go out and it be that bad. Yes, and I have a lot of hair. It was I was covered in fleas. I understand that, and I get it. And, and then guess what? I took a shower at a gas station, bought some clothes. With I had to buy dog flea shampoo. Then I went to my next appointment. And you wanted me to go back. That woman had dogs over here, by the way. Well, Sarah, I had texted you at 1030 and said, hey, when you get cleaned up, everything's good. I was already... Message me and let me know so we can talk about how to take care of this lady. Because we're still... You the one, you told company. me when I left, you said, I'll call her, I'll deal with it. I said, okay. I did say that. And, and I guess what? Call. I went and I, t I told you where I was headed, what I was doing. And I, I went to the next appointment because what else can I do? I don't know what to do for Sarah, it. Bifin is not going to work. You're avoiding what I asked. I, I didn't said, avoid. At 1030, I said, when you're done, reach back out to me so we can figure out how to proceed. You didn't reach back out to me. It was like yeah, I was in Right. I was taking a shot. I had to go to Walmart. You know how far it is from her house to Walmart? Yes, no, you I, don't. Yes, I do. I went to the house, remember? That's right. not Walmart. I'm talking about in Laurel. I know how far Pauling is from Laurel is the, what right. I'm trying to say. So. And then I had to go to the gas station. I had to stay there, do that. I had to wait on the truck being bombed with Precor, by the way, and got right back in it. So, yeah, I didn't have access to my phone, nothing. Everything was sitting in that truck. Sure was. I guess what I'm trying to figure out. And then I don't have uniforms at, at all. So I had to buy something to wear. I spent over $75 and you want to No, I don't think so. I sent you the text at 10 30. Right. And the car is so right. You're saying you didn't get back in the truck till 10 30. I don't know. I was no, I was probably sitting at the next appointment. And if it don't go off in my hearing aids, how would I know? 
Right. Well, you don't look at the phone at all? If it doesn't ring, no. Why you would I? You your phone. If it doesn't ring, I don't, because why would I be on my phone the 24-7? Okay. <laughs> the bottom line is the reason I cleared your schedule on Monday is because after everything went down the way it did, um, and I told you when I sent you, I think the last message I sent you was let's talk about it on Monday. With the assumption that you would be here, I did forget about your doctor's appointment that morning, but I didn't think you'd be gone the whole day. Again, if you need a whole day, it ain't no big deal, Sarah. I just knew that we needed to talk well, see, before. I told Cole, did I not, Cole? I said, I'll work until 12. When you cleared my schedule, I was like, well, there's no point in me going in. So you could have been here Monday morning because we needed to talk to you about everything that happened Friday. That's why... I cleared the schedule off because I didn't know what your So you didn't want about. me to work. You just want to come in here and chew me out. That's what you wanted me to do. No, nobody's chewing me out, Sarah. Oh, yeah, because this is getting twisted, and I don't think so. I, it cost to be a lot of money on Friday. Well, we paid you a full eight hours on No, Friday, you did too. not, because minus what I had to pay. No, yeah, I didn't get paid full eight hours. No, I did not. You got a full eight hours. Nine is seventy five dollars. No, sir, I did not. So don't come at me with that. Please no, nice, sir. You Please only. I, I'm, I'm I'm done with it because y'all want to twist stuff. The truck needs to be in check. There's something wrong with the engine. I drove the truck yesterday. I don't care. Are you a mechanic? No, you're not. Are you, you need to mechanic? get it a checked. What are you a mechanic? How do you I know? heard it. Even Sean heard it. And he said that does not sound right. I said I know because every time I'm driving it, it's not doing right. So I know there the sign no. popped up on the thing. It says it needs to be parked and checked, and it needs to go to a dealer. There's a defect. That's what the message said. Well, I've never seen this message. Well, I'm, okay, take it to the dealer, and they will tell you. I, I don't know what to tell you, but I'm not driving that truck. Well, Sarah, that's your truck. Right? That's, that's not my truck. With it right now. If oh yes, there is, and I'm not going. You, to drive you look, you're truck. not going to kill me in that truck, Chris. You are Nobody's crazy. Nobody's trying to kill you. Yes, you are. I'm trying to kill you now. There's something wrong with that engine, period. You can go get it checked out at a dealer because I'm not doing that. You're not killing me just because you think something. I don't think so. Nobody's killing you, sir. Bro, I, I'm not even dealing with this right now. It makes no sense. No sense. Why wouldn't you go get it checked out? This is a franchise. They will pay for it to be checked out. That's common sense. The legal department will tell you this. They will tell us that if there's a warning. There, there was a warning. On, there's nothing on in it yesterday. It says it has to be parked for the message to pop up. So, no. You're not I'll drive it again today if a, if a message No, pops you need up, a mechanic. But if no message pops up, there's no reason for me to you take You need a mechanic. There yes, there is. I told you. I told you there is something wrong with it. You can't convince me. Otherwise, I saw the message. I know I've been driving the truck. No. Sarah, do you want to work here? Absolutely, but y'all clearly don't want me working here. That is... Uh, Trust me, if I, if I didn't want you working here, I would have given You've been up. doing everything you can to get me out the door from Kevin Smith. Sit here telling me I had to earn my way to get a decent truck? I don't think so. I'm not spreading my legs to none of you. Period. Kevin Smith, that is not what Kevin Smith... Oh, yes, he did. I don't believe that's what he meant when he said Oh, I can polygraph up, can you? Because I, I know exactly what he said. He repeated it over and over that day. And I knew real quick. I said, I don't think so. I'm not doing that. <clears throat> you can roll your eyes all you want at me, Chris. But I'm no, no, sir. Sarah, all I know is you're coming in here. You're telling me, you told me Friday, I'm not going back to this lady's house. Right. I had fleas today. all over me. Why would I spend another $75, Chris? Today, I'm not being reimbursed for that. You're telling me today, I'm not getting in the truck. That's right. I told you this last you're week. It needs me to be a checked. lot of stuff that you're not going to That's do. right. I'm not going to kill myself over you but laughing you at me. Say, I'm not. But you also say, and then you're intrigued like everybody else. else. You treat don't. Me like everybody else. You don't. Yes, I do. You're right, I don't. You don't. I, tr I do treat you differently. I give has you somebody special used treatment. No, you don't. I have given you a lot of special No, treatment. you have not. Who's been using the bathroom? No one's been using That's the That's a lie. Who's been using the bathroom? I Sarah, I don't have a it. camera in there. No, I do not know if somebody's been using the bathroom. You just told right me there. no one. Now you don't know. Who's been using that? It's important to know this. Very important. <laughs> Why is it important to know that, Sarah? Okay, you, you're, you're the the Chris Mosley, you're saying nobody has used this bathroom. I'm telling you, man, him ain't using the bathroom. Anybody Somebody else has used it. Sarah, we are not here all the time. If someone else is using it, how are we supposed to know that? You just told me nobody was using it, so how are you so sure? Okay, why are you asking? What is it because it's very point? important. Nobody should be using that bathroom. 
if you told me this is only strictly with women's, nobody else should be using it, correct? I agree. No one else should be using it. Hmm. The now, others are using it. Let's keep in mind, you said you didn't want the women's restroom, but you're right. Now that we've made it, no one else should be using it. Right. Well, okay, Chris. Why is that coming up? Because it's <laughs> what important. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? I had a question. I can't ask questions? Sure you can. I just didn't know how, what, how it related to what we were talking about. Well, I've been very sick, Chris. It relates in a big way. Sarah, I told you in the beginning, I wanted you. I picked you. I wanted you to work. Yeah, you told me Cole so did when you not. Don't, so, I never once said, said Cole didn't want Yes, you did. No, I never once said Cole did not want you. Yes, I said, she, I picked you. I you said Cole you. did not want me. Nobody ever said I that. never said that, Sarah. Uh, Nor did I ever say that. If I didn't want you to work here, you wouldn't be working here, Sarah. He does, he's out of the service department. He has the last say when we're bringing somebody in service related. I told him what the plan was for you. Wanted to get you here in the service department with the eventual plan to maybe move you into sales if that's what you chose to do. But you had to be okay with it. He had to be okay with it. I asked you, were you okay with it? You You're said lying you to my face because you flat out said you did. Cole did not want to hire me. Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't even know how we got on that. What? I don't either because you wouldn't be an employee here if I didn't want you here. So uh, I know how we got there. I said that I chose you. I wanted you here. It, it looks bad on me if somebody does not work out. So for you to continuously say that I want you to, I want you gone. I'm trying to get you out of here. That's not you true. are. But at the same time, now that you're here, Sarah, you've got to be able to perform the job. Right. I have been doing the job with the crappy tools I've been given, the truck that needs to be going to the shop. You're trying what to kill me tools? in that thing. Beckett's old tools, yeah, that's all crappy crap up in the truck. You and I both know that. Only thing new is the Webster and some pliers, thanks to you. That's it. And I ordered you the pliers you asked for. No, that's the, um, what's it called? It's not pliers, it's... Uh, Okay, so I ordered thing. you brand new. <laughs> I gave you that. Yeah, so what other tools are you talking about that's not any good? Most of that junk in the truck is crap. I mean, it really is. It's crap. If it wasn't for him that one day getting some stuff, I wouldn't have had anything decent. That's a fact. So, uh, we usually don't go we, buy new floor mat seat covers. I'm not talking that about stuff. that at all. I told you really? I'd wash the other one. You the one told me to throw it away. The only thing I can <clears> think of that you've requested that you haven't gotten yet, which is not in our control, is the uniform situation. Everything else you've asked for, is there anything else you've asked for that you've not received? Anything else? I stopped asking because look at the junk I got. You won't even take the truck Just to go the look question. at. Was there anything else you asked You won't for? take the truck. That is the biggest tool I got. You will not even take it to go. Go get it checked at the dealer. I, 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 I can't stress it enough. Before you kill somebody, Go get it checked. I've never had anybody come in here and tell me because a light come on in the truck that they thought I it's was not a to light. Go. It's a whole message. It says there's a defect and needs to go to a dealership. I've been driving the truck. There's something wrong with it. I will take it to let them run a diagnostic on it and just the, the engine. The better. engine needs to be checked. Period. But I don't understand how an engine problem. Because it'll seize up on the highway and flip, and I end up wrecking into something. I don't think that that's is how a problem. Work, but if, uh, I don't. You don't know anything about it, then. We're not trying to kill you. Sarah. Oh yes, you are, because you refuse to even. You are. You're refusing to get it to a dealer. What's the problem? Why can't you get it checked out? Why? You made every excuse not to. It don't make well, sense. Well, I told you there when I drove the truck. There I, no are you lights, a mechanic? No are you an expert in it? No. The message Most, came up. The up. majority of the population out there that's driving these cars are not experts, but they rely on the lights and things that come on to tell them. If right, and shocked. I saw it, there and it says it has one. to be parked. There wasn't one. Yes, there was it. one. I Sarah, saw it with my own eyes. Are you recording this conversation? Absolutely. Well, you so better believe, because what did I tell you on the send phone? Send us a copy of this, please. Because what did I tell you on the phone? I don't Do know. I need a logger here? Because the way y'all are treating me is not right. How are we treating you? Uh, okay, we can keep playing this if you want to. I'll get a lawyer here next time if you all want to have a conversation. Yeah, we can do it that way.
I mean, this conversation's kind of persisted. Of you, yeah, that you're refusing to get this truck. This is the biggest yeah, tool I yeah, have, tricky. and you're trying to kill me in it. So that's why you keep talking about it, because you're recording your conversation. Oh, you better believe, and I have a right to. This conversation's mainly consisted of you yelling and screaming. And, uh, right, and you refusing to, uh, to we're address not, my issues. We're not refusing to do anything. So I, I think, think I, I just do. told you we would take it. Yeah. No, no, you no, just said that you drive, didn't want like, to. You were expert in it, okay. and you drove it, and it was fine. Sarah, yeah, That's what you just you said. You said you don't feel well. Why don't you go home for the day, and we'll talk again tomorrow. Here's you your keys to, to your truck. You have them now. Can you send us a copy of that Let's recording, see. please? If I get a lawyer, you can get a recording. Other than that. So you're not going to send it. So you're not going to send it. You have the keys. There you go. I'm going to go get my stuff. You want me out today? I'll get out today. I believe I've said this, but just so we can remind ourselves here, if you don't set the expectations, you will. Won't me out. I'm out for today. Another day without pay. <laughs> <laughs>